Hello one and all, I'm Black Bright and I hail from the east of England. Welcome to my channel. First time you're passing through, thumbs up if you like me, thumbs down if you don't. Share, subscribe and comment if you have anything to say about what I'm saying. Anyway, somebody sent me this video. It's the app that Jamaica uses to monitor COVID-19. Quite a sophisticated app and it's dated, the information is June um, last year. So the figures are totally different now and I'll give you the figures later. But just look what it does. Yeah. 
No, I thought that was quite interesting, <clears throat> to be honest, because um, we don't have an app like that that I know of in the UK. All we've got is something that, you know, um, tells you whether or not you're in a high alert zone or what tier you are. But it doesn't give you all that breakdown. And yes, it is quite surprising that a third world country can be so sophisticated. But anyway, um, the current figures, um, I haven't. I, di I can't have access to the app, of course, because I think it's only for those people who actually visit the country. They have to download it. But um, I've gone back to John Hopkins University and uh, currently Jamaica has had 13,700 cases, 11,320 recoveries and 306 deaths. Now, we have to understand that the information that's put in relies on whether or not it's honest and whether or not it's accurate. So like she says, she took her temperature. Maybe somebody doesn't know how to take the temperature. And she put in all her tracking information. If you're not au fait with that kind of equipment, it might not be accurate. <clears throat> but assuming that it is, because the thing is, if it's giving an update all the time, at, you know, in in um in, like almost instantly, people have to be inputting that data. And I know people can't duplicate it or stuff like that. And I don't know how it's monitored so that it's kind, they know who's sending it. But I guess they've got some way of tracking it. Anyway, <clears throat> we've got Trinidad. Like I said, at the moment, um, Jamaica has 13,700 cases. 11,320 recoveries, 306 deaths. And if we compare that to, say, Trinidad, you know, the regional peers, we've got Trinidad, they've got 7,220 cases, 674 recoveries, and 127 deaths. Then we have... <clears throat> Barbados, they're doing pretty well. 783 cases, only 783 cases, 327 recoveries and seven deaths. St. Vincent, they have 149 cases, 100 recovered and zero deaths. We have St. Lucia, they have 384 cases, 304 recoveries and five deaths. And St. Kitts, 33 cases, 31 recoveries, zero deaths. And I just did Grenada, <clears throat> 127 cases, 107 recoveries and zero deaths. So comparatively, even though um, Jamaica started off, you know, with a good rate, it has um, increased quite considerably their number of deaths and the number of cases. But you can't blame it if you can't keep people under wraps, but they are trying their best. And I just thought I would share that with you. That's all for now. Bye-bye.